Kenya's e-mobility is projected to grow by 5% by 2030 as the country is gradually embracing electric vehicles. According to the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, that's EPRA, the number of EVs registered in Kenya increased by more than five times in 2023, with the government now encouraging e-mobility local innovators are now coming up with products targeting this particular sector. One such innovation is the Ecomobilus, a venture building electric tuk-tuks and motorcycles. Edward Chua tells us more. With the number of electric vehicles on Kenyan roads growing annually, the challenge for owners has been how to maintain and service their electric batteries. This is what pushed Professor Geoffrey Gitau to start making electric batteries targeting the e-mobility sector. When the battery starts developing issues, people do not know what to do. So we were able to start making the initial batteries from cells uh, corrected from um, local sources and one of the local sources was to use uh, uh, batteries that are recovered from uh, laptops and so forth. With that, Gitau and his team embarked on more research and came up with the idea of converting fuel-powered vehicles into electric. Our focus is on uh, light electric vehicles, bicycles, motorcycles, uh, tuk-tuks, both for passenger and cargo. Most of those Boda Bodas are not customized for our environment. Uh, our users here, they carry heavy roads, they go wrong distances, they drive in up hilly terrains and all that. We also do conversion. Uh, perhaps you have your own motorcycle that you were using before and now you don't, you don't have capacity to buy the new electric. We are able to make it become electric also at a very cost-effective cost price of about 100000 So, how does the conversion work? Electric mobility works by three things. There's what we call the battery, it stores the energy, it's like the petrol tank in a car. And then we have the motor, it turns the wheel, it's like the engine. And then we have the controller, it's now like the accelerator. And so we arrange the cells and then we are able to spot weld them, connect them in a way that we can form a stack. For vehicles, we lay them on the floor so that the what you call the center of gravity can be as low as possible. Ecomobilers is now embracing solar technology to add at least 30% of power to the electric vehicles. And with the solarization, that means that that took, took apart from using the charge that it got uh, from the, the grid power, it will also be able to give another 30% more mileage by using of solar. We are targeting uh, the, the, the big masses of users who require transportation for their last mile. It also says, so far, they have received several orders from border border operators looking to convert their motorcycles into electric and he is now setting up a charging station along the eastern bypass to enable charging of the batteries. We are not only looking at um, charging uh, them but we are also trying to create mini grids. So we can be able, charging is a very key infrastructure for this uh, sustainability. So because of that, so we are able to uh, size uh, mini grids uh, whereby we can be able to provide judging stations and not only that but also uh, energy we have got quite a number of orders that we've been able to fulfill so far where we have been able to convert them and they are already using them out there we have also got in, uh, orders for clean assembly from the scratch that means somebody wants us to build for them an ev we are in the process of completing our electric mukokoteni that we're going to call e, -E coco Working with research institutions such as Moranga University, Ecomobilers is now helping develop a curriculum for e-mobility to be taught in institutions and the venture looks forward to fully making electric vehicles from scratch. We are developing a curriculum for that, which we're inviting young people, people who have perhaps completed a technical course uh, on anything to do with the mechanical, electrical, electronics, whatever. We want them to come now and do a, 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 a module which is purely on e-mobility. We believe that we're going to become, uh, 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 here in, in Kenya, we are going to become the Tesla. Because we, we believe in uh, developing localized homegrown solutions in immobility. Among the measures Kenya has put in place to combat climate change is opening up its doors to electric mobility as an alternative to fossil fuels. This has encouraged innovators like Ecomobilers to come up with climate-friendly innovations like this tuk-tuk here. The hope is that someday the country will fully embrace electric mobility. Edward Chua, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.